Hello lovely children. Welcome to another exciting lesson in science. Today we'll be looking at diversity of matter and under that we'll look at the matter. Yes. Okay, so by the end of today's lesson, we should be able to know the definition for matter, the three states of matter, and the properties of each state. Now let's look at our keywords. Our first keyword is matter. Matter. Matter is anything that has weight and occupy space. Matter is anything that has weight and occupy space. Our next keyword is compress. Compress. So compress is to press or squeeze together. Press or squeeze together. As we said earlier on, matter is anything that has mass and occupy space or occupies space. So a lot of wood, milk of milk, car, book, soup, they are all examples of matter. We can see and feel objects such as stone, clothes, chairs, and the rest. All these substances are made of certain materials and they can occupy space. So we call them matter. They also have material mass. Do you remember what we did the other day? We said materials have mass. That is the amount of body it contains. So there are three states of matter. These are, we have the solid states, the liquid states, and the gas states. Let's move on. So solid is a form of matter that has a defined shape. Solid is a form of matter that has defined shape and volume. So all, all solids keep their shape unless you do something to it. So a shape of a solid like a clay. A clay can be easily changed when you compress it in a and in our keyword, we said compress means to press it. So when we press a clay, it can change its what? Its shape. So solids, we have examples like stone, we have um, books, pencils, pen, cups, and the rest. Okay, so if you can look on your screen, I have examples of what? solids there. Now let's look at their properties. So solids are, solids have fixed shape. Their shapes are what? Fixed, as I said earlier, unless you do something to it. They have fixed shape. Another property of solid is, solid can be packed with your hand, can be picked with your hand. Sorry. Solid can be picked with your hand. Good. Let's move on to the next one. We have solid. It's, it is either hard or soft. So you can look on your screen. I have cotton pads over there. Yes, the cotton is soft. When we did texture, we said some objects are soft, others are hard. So the cotton is soft. The block over there is what? Hard. Now let's move on to the next one. Solid cannot flow. No, they can never flow. Let's move to the next property. Solid can be compressed as the clay. Clay can be pressed to get another shape. So children, kindly look on your tree. We have a brick over there, a football and coins. They are all what? Solid materials. I hope now you understand what solid is. Now let's move on to the next state of matter, which is liquid. So liquid is a form of matter that has a defined volume but can change shape. Liquid have no shape. That is what it means. A liquid takes the shape of its container. 
If you pour water in a glass, it does it takes the shape of the glass. Okay, so let's take a, a water being put in in fridge or freezer. At the end of the day, it will change towards a blob. Yes, and when you change to that, it takes the shape of that. Okay, now let's look at some of the liquids we have. Look on your screen. So we have Coca Cola. You all know Coca Cola. Yes, it is liquid, it flows easily. We have water, we have oil. Let's move on. So, the properties of liquid liquid can flow. If okay, so let's take Coca Cola for instance. You see that it can flow easily, and when it splits, it's what it spreads out. Now, let's move on to the next property. So, the next property of liquid is that liquid can be poured. You can pour liquid, but you can't pour what solid. Water can be poured, tea can be poured, Coca Cola can be poured, and the rest. The next property is that liquids have fixed shape. When they are in a container, they have what? Fixed shape. Good. Liquids have fixed what? Volume. They have fixed volume. That is another property of liquid. Now, let's move on to the next one. Liquid can be what? Compressed lightly. You can compress it lightly. Good. So, a glass of water is a liquid. A glass of milk is a liquid. A bowl of oil is a liquid. A jar of honey is a liquid. A glass of fruit juice is a liquid. Then, a bottle of Fanta is a liquid. The tea we drink, it's also a liquid form. So, any material, you, any matter you see around that flows easily, is what? It's a liquid. That can be poured. And when you pour it and it splits, it, it spreads, it means that is what? A liquid. Now, let's move on to the last property. That is the last property of matter that is gas so gas does not have definite shape or volume so it can expand or fill any size of a shape or container have you seen a gas before no you can't see gas but you can feel it so gas have no shape gas we have example as air so air is a gas we cannot see most gases. We cannot feel most gases, but you can feel their what? They are present. Sorry, you can feel their present. You can feel air move around you. So now let's look at their properties. So gas have no fixed shape. Okay, so for instance, when you are boiling water, you see the vapor that comes out. That is a gas. It has no what? Fixed volume. Let's move to the next one. So, gas flow easily. They flow easily like liquid. They flow easily. And they vanish in the air. So, if you are boiling something and you see the, the vapor or the steam coming out, at a point, you will see it again. But they vanish in the air. Let's move on. So gas can be compressed and squeezed easily into container. So if you have a balloon and you want to fill it with gas, that is air. You just blow air inside. Okay, you have compressed it and squeezed it easily into a container. Now let's move on to the next one. So these are the forms or the types of gases we have. We said we have we said matter is anything that has mass and occupies spaces. And we also said there are three forms of or states of matter. We have gas, liquid, and solid. So solid is the state of matter which has a fixed shape and a volume. Okay.
okay so liquid on the other hand is a state of matter which does not have a definite shape on its own and can flow easily a gas is also a state of matter which has no fixed or definite volume on its own and can also flow easily gases vanish in the air as well so children we've come to the end of today's lesson i hope you had a wonderful lesson with me i will see you all soon be good children always wash your hands with soap and under running water see you all later it's bye bye